energy community. Thank you very much. Thank you. Brian. Thank you very much. So I asked Bill a question that probably some of you are thinking of if you're totally into that world, which I find to be very interesting. So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs, and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it would be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. So we'll see. But the whole concept of the light, the way it kills it in one minute, that's, uh, that's pretty powerful. Uh, Steve, please. You say that the country will be in a better place by early summer. Does that mean you're going to need to extend the social distancing guidelines until then? Well, we may. And we may go beyond that. We're going to have to see where it is. And uh, I think people are going to know. You're going to know. I'm going to know. I think people are going to know just out of common sense. At some point, we won't have to do that. But until we feel it's safe, we're going to be extending. You have 23 cases where new cases, 23 states where new cases are on decline. What does that mean about when the country can be safely reopened to a, a more normal point? Yeah, but it means we're going to watch those cases very carefully. I think we've all gotten very good at it. We've gotten good at uh, tracing. We see where the cases are, where they're going, and we're going to be watching it. And it's called containment. At a certain point, we're going to be able to contain. And uh, you know, when you see this, a lot of people have been talking about summer. Uh, maybe this is one of the reasons. We've uh, — I once mentioned that maybe it does go away with heat and light, and people didn't like that statement very much. The, the fake news didn't like it at all, and I just threw it out as a suggestion. But it seems like that's the case, because when it's on a surface that would last for a long time, when that surface is outside, it goes away very quickly. It dies very quickly with the sun. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you said yesterday that you're going to look into Senator McConnell's suggestion for allowing states to declare bankruptcy versus the aid. Yeah, I will look into it, and I have been looking into it. I've been talking to a lot of the different senators, but I don't want to talk about it now. That was a very interesting presentation. Go ahead, Jim. Well, I, I wanted to talk about McConnell's suggestion that aid to the states amounts to a I just told you I'm not talking about it now. I'll talk about it later. Okay. I'd like to talk about something that right now is of more interest to Could people. Can I ask Mr. Bryan a question? Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When you started your presentation, you described this as an emerging result. Does this mean your study is conclusive? Is there more work to do? We're continuing with that. For example, on the aerosol side, you notice the figures were 20 percent humidity. We're looking at higher humidity levels. We would expect that we even have a greater impact on the virus. We're looking at other types of disinfectants. Uh, and, and so we're there, this is a, a we're as a scientific community, we're continuing to study the virus to understand its characteristics. Can you explain why some hot spots we've seen in the U.S. are hot and humid, like New Orleans, for example? Let me explain. If, if you look at the coronavirus as a chain with many links, what we've done through our study is we've identified some of the weak links in that chain that the virus, the transmission of the virus depends upon. We identify that heat and humidity is a weakness in that chain. We've identified that sunlight, solar light, UV rays is a weakness in that chain. That doesn't take away the other activities, the guidance from the White House, the guidance from the CDC and others on the actions and steps that people need to take to protect themselves. This is just another another tool in our tool belt, right? Another, another weapon in the fight uh, that we can add to it. And in the summer, we know that summer-like conditions are going to create an environment where the transmission can be decreased. And that's an opportunity for us to get ahead. But uh, Brian, uh, is, uh, the, 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 the president uh, mentioned the idea of, of cleaners, the bleach and isopropyl alcohol you mentioned. Uh, there's no scenario that that could be injected into a person, is there? I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm here to talk about the finds that we had in the study. We don't do that within that lab at our lab. So, yeah, so, so how do you yeah, we simplify it too much? We're talking about we're almost a cleaning sterilization of an area. Right. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work, but it certainly has a big 
effect if it's on a stationary object. Okay. So how do you Are we simplifying too much by saying that it'd be better with the warmer weather and the sun coming out more and more that people would be outside than staying inside their home confined to the four walls of their, of their house? It, it would be irresponsible for us to say that we feel that the summer is just going to totally kill the virus and that if it's a free-for-all and that people ignore those guides, that is not the case. Uh, we, we have an opportunity, though, to get ahead with what we know now and factor that into the decision-makings for what opens and what doesn't.